This video will help you to connect your Synchro or Repair Shopper instance with your Tier 2 Tickets Help Desk Buttons account. There are three steps to this process. The first is to create an unregistered user. Our software matches tickets to users by email address in Synchro. If someone tries to submit a ticket, but Synchro does not recognize the email address, our software will instead submit the ticket to a catch-all user. This user can be either a contact, if you have multiple contacts per company enabled, or a company email address. The specific email address that's searched against is unregistered at helpdeskbuttons.com. Assuming you have multiple contacts enabled, select a customer and click contacts, then click the new button. You can fill out the name of the contact to be whatever you like. Just make sure that the email address is unregistered at helpdeskbuttons.com. The second step is to create an API key. Click on the admin gear, API tokens, and add new token. You will need to create a token with custom permissions. Name the key as you like and select these permissions. Customers, list search. Customers, view detail. Tickets, create. Tickets, edit. And ticket comments, new. As of this recording, these are the permissions necessary for our product. If a feature is not functioning properly, check the documentation in the description to see if additional permissions are needed. When you're done with this part, click Create API Token and record the token. Please be advised, this token will not be shown again. Finally, head to your Tier 2 Tickets Help Desk Buttons account. Once you're logged in, go to the Integration Settings page by clicking Software Management Integration Settings from the main navigation menu. On the Integration Settings page, select Synchro as the ticket system and fill out the API endpoint. This should be the URL from your instance. Paste in the API key and click Update to save your changes. You should now be able to click the Integration Test button and our system will send a test ticket to your Synchro instance. If you see success and a ticket number, you're all set. For more information, check the documentation linked in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.